privacy amid secrecy and tight security. With seven states having already seceded from the Union since Lincoln's election, the threat of civil war hung in the air. Lincoln and his advisors disagreed about how to respond to the threat. Some, including Pinkerton, wanted Lincoln to slip secretly into Washington, which would mean skipping an address to the Pennsylvania legislature in Harrisburg. He wore a soft felt hat instead of his customary stovepipe hat and dripped an overcoat over his shoulders and hunched slightly to disguise his height. The group boarded a sleeper car and arrived in Baltimore in the middle of the night. They slipped undetected from the Calvert Street station to Camden Station across town. There, they boarded another train and arrived without incident in Washington AT6 at M. On the platform, the party was surprised when a voice boomed, Abe, you can't play that on me. It was Congressman Elihu B. Washburn, a friend of Lincoln's from Illinois. Washburn escorted Lincoln to the Willard Hotel. A myth arose that Lincoln had dressed as a woman to avoid detection, but this was not the case. He did draw considerable criticism in the press for his unceremonious arrival. Northern diarist George Templeton Strong commented that, if convincing evidence of a plot did not surface, the surreptitious nocturnal dodging will be used to damage his moral position and throw ridicule on his administration. Lincoln later regretted the caper and commented to a friend, I did not then, nor do I now believe I should have been assassinated had I gone through Baltimore, regardless of how he had arrived, Lincoln was safely in Washington, ready to assume the difficult task ahead.